Hello YouTube. As usual, with a car and a project, things happen and you just gotta fix them as they come. Uh, two days ago, I was on a road trip and I lost a cylinder. So I limped it home about 60 miles on five cylinders. Found out I had a broken valve spring, believe it or not. Right here, on this side right here. Uh, no major damage, no bent valves or anything. So basically, I just uh, had uh, air pressed, compressed into the cylinder that kept the valve up. And I was able to use a valve spring compressor to remove the broken valve spring and put the new one on and then put the retainers and the locks and the rockers and push rods back in. But like I said, no damage done. But the, the car threw a light saying it was a uh, something dealing with the left bank of the engine which is this side here so more likely it was probably a lot of carbon and gunk from me dropping that cylinder and driving home on the car so the best way to clean that out and to clear that that code is to use sea foam I had uh, heard pretty good reviews on this so I decided to use this now the proper way of using this is, is in three steps you're gonna use a third of it in your gas tank which I just did a third of it in the oil and since I got a oil change coming up uh, tomorrow that'll be the perfect time to put this in and then a third of it goes into the intake and on this particular car on the Taurus I'm gonna do it through this vacuum hose right here. It's gonna, it has a real strong vacuum that goes right on the other side of the throttle body into the intake. And the car's at room at uh, operating temperature now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the car up and slowly feed that third of a can in here, little by little, you don't wanna kill the motor. And once you get the whole third in, you let the car sit for seven to ten minutes to let it do its work. Start it back up. Uh, let it, uh, it'll start smoking. And you rub it a few times to blow out all the contaminants. It's aggressively for a few miles to blow out any kind of contaminants and stuff and it's no longer smoking as you can see here and now the car is officially clean it runs a lot better the check engine light that I had on is off now because uh, 
I had a dirty, um, what you call it, oxygen sensor on one side for when I lost a cylinder on a road trip. I got it fixed, but it messed up the oxygen sensor, got it dirty, was throwing a code. But now the code is off. It runs smoother, it drives better. I can say this is officially clean. Until the next video, I'll see you next time. Okay, about three hours later, I've been driving it around all day. The car runs better. The car runs smoother. Uh, the check engine light is off and it never came back on. So I got to say, Seafoam, I give it a thumbs up. I recommend it. And I tell you one thing, if I ever have to clean out another car like that again, this right here will be the first thing I use. Uh, if you notice in the video, you heard some rattling when I was revving the motor. It is the belt tensioner. It's old. It's the original belt tensioner from 19, I mean from 2007. So it has to be replaced. It's okay to drive, but when you rev it really hard, it rattles. So I just ordered a new belt, a new tensioner, and a pulley. And when those come in, I'm going to make a video on how to install those. And until then, I'll see you next time.